Hey, this is Matt from avnation.tv. We are on the beautiful second floor of the Biant booth here in Las Vegas at Infocom 2016. I am here with my good friend Chris. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you, Matt. Hey, um, thank you for uh, A, letting us use your booth. This is fantastic. That's what it's um, here for. So, a couple weeks ago, we got uh, at our head office a package from mm -hmm. you guys uh, that had some very, very impressive marketing. A nice little guerrilla marketing package of uh, essentially stand tuned for something new and exciting and it was beautiful. It was a beautiful piece of marketing. So, A, thank you for that. Um, but two, it, it brought some life to what's normally a pretty boring product introduction, right? So, yep. can you explain, A, a, a little bit behind why you went that route opposed to just a boring standard press release? And then two, tell us a little bit about what that was teasing. Yeah, sure. So. Um We've been planning this release for a long time, and, okay. and we really did not want to do, as you just described, the boring product <laughs> announcement. You know, we got a well, ton no. of uh, engineering effort going in, a ton of preparation, and it seemed appropriate to, you know, expend some real effort and thought on right. on the lead up to it. So we came up with the kind of the agent T T yeah. Lux campaign. Uh -huh. uh, I, you know, our marketing team executed on that fantastic. I saw the oh, concept. It was beautiful. Uh, six months ago, it really blew my mind. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> this is like, you know, Mr. Phelps' Mission Impossible stuff. Completely. Brown envelopes, Completely. top secret. Yes. Um, I got one of those myself. I, did, I hadn't seen it before I got it. I was like, oh, this is oh, awesome. So it was a, it's been a nice surprise for me. Yeah. We had this, this teaser campaign of, uh, you know, code words, hidden words, mm -hmm. and you know, some people said, oh, it's kind of sketchy, it's a little bit dark. I'm like, you know what, it's fun. It it's is. really exciting, and it's been leading up to, to T-Lux, or as we right. now can call it, to Cyrillux, okay. which is um, the latest pair of additions, the twins, if you like, to uh, the Tessera family, our okay. uh, traditionally our DSP platform. Yeah. Um, but what we've added with Tessera Lux is a pair, uh, a video encoder and a video decoder. So okay. we've really um, moved the focus a little bit for Tessera. It's no longer a DSP and distribution right. platform. We are now uh, a, a true AV, integrated AV media platform. Okay. And that's what we've announced this morning. So essentially, your looking to go beyond where you've lived for quite a long time yep. in that, that audio DSP side of the conference room or the boardroom or the facility yep. and really provided that all-stop, one-stop solution for it. Mm -hmm. what, what brought that decision to play? So I think the first thing to say about that decision, it's a pretty old one. I mean, okay. Biamp has been thinking about video for a decade, near okay. enough, much longer than I've been with the company. <laughs> I've only been there three years. Right. Um, but the thoughts around video distribution. As soon as we were in network audio, we knew we wanted to be thinking about right. network media, network video. I mean, those that have closely observed the Biant website will know that we've been using the word media for a best part of four yes. or five years now. Um, and when we launched Tessera, originally we chose AVB as its you know distribution mm -hmm. backbone right. because we knew we were going to want that V. Right. We weren't. It wasn't a coincidental decision. It was a, a, st a strategy that we've pursued for a long time. We've had. You know, fairly serious engineering development going on at Biome for the best part of 10 okay. years. Um, we actually had uh, a previous uh, product manager for video products. He was never able to say that in public. Um, uh, he had, he had but a I am. That's it's, it's exciting. Yeah, it's a, it's a site. It's a it's a funny title. It's one that's surprised a bunch of people okay. today. Um, but you know, we knew that the benefits that come from using networks to distribute audio applied to video. And we really wanted right. to get to a point where we could create a joined up and truly integrated AV network system. And, and we are to the point in most installations where you're no longer just supplying audio. Right. It, it doesn't matter where it's going, what kind of facility, what kind of room, you're almost never just throwing background music in. Sure. You're throwing program audio, you're throwing some form of video display, some form of something. So it, it seems to really make sense that you're, I hate to say finally, but you're but finally bringing something to market. You're not the first person to say that, so that, fine. that lets us get down that path, right? Properly. So, if, and you're right. Let's look at a, a typical job today, which is uh, there's some audio distribution and processing, there's some yep. video distribution and processing of some kind. Now, yep. um, that audio shift has happened. We are in network land. That is, yes. And there's no going back from that. We're seeing a transition in video from traditional HD based T systems towards a network, uh, and I think what we're seeing here this week is kind of the it's not the death knell for HD based TV, but it's the beginning of the end. Yes. Um, you know, we we believe that by the networks of the future, I think most people are coming around to that point of view. So then we're left with, well, how on earth do I integrate this uh, streaming video solution and this right. streaming audio solution? And our answer to that with Tessera and Tessera Lux is 
You don't have to. You know, we did that. We right. have our it's already there. Our platform, our unified family of product, and, and what we've done with Lux is just add more tools to that toolkit, the right. Tessera toolkit, the platform. Now, are you expecting, uh, or, or how is this going to affect your existing dealer base mm -hmm. from the standpoint of currently, you know, obviously they've only looked to you for audio. How much additional training and and product expertise are they going to have to obtain right. to, you know, fully utilize the video aspect of the projects? Yeah. And that's a really great question. I mean, Biamp is known for our training and our support right. and our, you know, our general desire to make, um, to help our integrated, our, you know, our most important customers, help mm -hmm. them do a great job. So we will have the same level of training as you would expect for right. Tessera Lux as we do for our Tessera platform. Um, all of that is free, will right. continue to be free. So there's all of that. Um, we have online content, we'll have video content, we'll have um, in-house training, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and it's flowing through the same type of yeah. programming that your clients are used to, correct? Sure, and that's the second okay. part of this, is so that by using Tessera software and not creating some new environment, right. people that are familiar with our product will already understand the metaphors that They're we're using, the idea up. of dropping blocks, joining them with lines, yep. using partition connectors to connect between the partitions and using our compiler and, and, and all of that good stuff. Um, but the other piece really is that we've, we've taken as much care as we can in, in the software interface for the video stuff to really help them get their heads around it. We know that video bandwidth is now a thing. You know, yes. Audio was never really bandwidth constrained. Right. Once we got into one gig yep. networking, you were fine. that's a lot of channels. It is. Uh, but with video, with a, with a 4K signal, you could be looking at 10 gig of data, yep. 10 gig per second. So we've built in um, bandwidth management tools and controls that really give the integrator the opportunity to manage, either control their own bandwidth or, or fit within the constraints given to them by an right. end customer, like an IT department says, yep. hey, you've got a gig to play with, you've got two gig, right. we can help them fit content appropriately inside those constraints. Because we recognize that exactly. bandwidth is now a significant issue. Um, and to use AVB to do that means that we can, in much more um, uh, granular fashion, control what's going on on the yes. switch and what's um, what's being sent over the network and help right. them fit within you know, the environment that that installation has to, has to be deployed in. Correct. Okay. Very nice. Um, when is this product going to be available? Okay, so this will be shipping in uh, January 2017. Okay. We hope to do that before then, but that's our current target date. Perfect. Um, and yeah, come to the booth. Excellent. Come see what we're doing. Perfect. So for more information on uh, this new product, as well as your, your fine array of other products, yep. where can people find that information? They should visit the brand spanking new www.biamp.com <laughs> website. That recently underwent a bit of a facelift and a renovation, so that's all Very fun. Nice. But that's that's where to go to get information on Tessera Lux. That all went up this morning, coinciding with the press release. And Beautiful. as uh, Matt says, all of our other products too. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Thank it's you for your pleasure. time. For more video from the show floor, please visit avnation.tv.